guys, welcome back to my channel. So first off, I wanted to start off by saying Happy New Year. I know it's the end of the first week of January, but I haven't seen you guys since last year. Super excited what this year is going to bring and I hope all of us have such an amazing year. This year's for you guys. As some of you guys have seen in my vlog, I've been working now. Starting my sixth week, but with the Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, I haven't done like full weeks in between, so maybe I got like two full weeks in. But right now I'm averaging like four days going to the gym and working out because one of my resolutions is to really be fit. So with that, I got a little bit of inspiration and in kind of showing you guys what I wear to the gym. I'm not going to go glammed up with my full shadow and my lashes going on. That's not me, but this is just what I, works for me. You can choose to do your makeup however you want at the gym. But I just wanted to share with you guys what my routine was and this is the look. If you guys want to see how I get it, keep on watching. So right now that it's winter, and I've noticed that my skin has been super, super dry. So when having conversations with my brothers, I mentioned to them how I felt like my skin was pretty dry. So they got me this for Christmas. It's Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. And it says, this scrubby mix removes dead skin and softens, leaving you moisturized and subtle. And I can say my skin definitely feels like a baby's bottom once it exfoliates. So it's a blue color. And all you need to do is grab a little bit of the product and rub it onto your hand motion and you literally rinse it off with water and all the dead skin is gone it's amazing so to exfoliate my lips I have been using Santa's lip scrub from Lush Cosmetics I've been doing this every day before I apply any chopstick or lipstick and what I do I just rub it onto my lip you do see like my lips become a little bit red and then literally you just lick it off your lips it's like candy now that I have exfoliated my lips, I'm going to take some lip balm and cover my entire lip. The most important things before putting on any makeup is moisturizing your face. To start off using this Bright On Schedule Eye Awakening Cream and it, it really helps give a well rested look under my eye. To apply it, you just press and roll on under the eye area. Then I take a flat concealer brush and I just pat it down into my skin. Now to moisturize my face, I'm going to take this up and up moisturizer. I really like the, that the consistency because it's really light and it's an oil-free moisturizer. So I'm going to take some moisturizer and you're going to just pat it into your skin like so. The reason that you're patting it into your skin is because you really want the skin to absorb the moisturizer. That way when our pores open up as we're working now, our skin is absor absorbing the moisturizer to keep our skin hydrated. When I work out, these are my go-to BB creams. Um, the Oil of Olay BB Cream, I prefer to use it whenever I go hiking or maybe running outside, any kind of outdoor activity. Um, the reason is that it already has SPF um, in the BB Cream, so it just helps tag my skin for many sun rays. But whenever I do go to the gym, I like to use the BB Cream from Alley Girl Cosmetics because it's a very, very sheer coverage, so it just kind of evens out my skin tone. So I'm going to take a flat brush, I'm going to apply it on different Then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and then just blend um, the BB cream into my skin. So again, you just make sure that you are patting down on your skin. Most of the time when I plan to go to the gym, I usually have errands to run or maybe I'm doing like a quick photo shoot before. Since I'm going to be on the go, I do have some blemishes here on my face. My best friend that visits me once a month decided to come this week so I want to make sure I have those concealed because I don't want everyone just staring at them since it's right dab in the middle of my forehead. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and just dab like a little bit just to get that coverage under my eyes and on top of um, my blemishes. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just blend that into my skin. Sometimes I might skip this step because um, I might not have any blemishes or my dark circles aren't that bad because maybe I got a good night's rest the night before. Um, so this step is super, totally optional depending on your skin. So now to set um, my BB cream, I'm just going to take a little bit of powder, like the least that you can take, um, with a blending brush. And then I'm just going to only do it once and then just kind of go throughout my skin just to make sure that there's no creases and that all the BB cream has been spread evenly throughout my face. For my eyebrow 
else I'm going to use this eyebrow kit that I purchased at Target from e.l.f. Cosmetics and an e.l.f. small angled brush and I'm going to take um, this brown cream in order to fill in my brows. I want my brows to look as natural as possible. As you can see in my eyebrows, I it's pretty sparse on the ends and a lot fuller here so I just kind of want to fill it in to make it look natural, not too dramatic like I'm going to go out to a club and I want my eyebrows to be on fleek as we're calling it nowadays um, but I just want it to look full and filled in because I can't go out of the house without my, with my eyebrows looking like this. So first I'm just going to go ahead and get um, a brush and comb them through. I'm going to take a little bit of product and I'm going to start in the middle of my brow and start filling it in. You want to have a super light hand as you go through. And I think the most important part when you're doing your eyebrows is to continuously comb it through because the product um, will spread throughout the brow hairs. product I have left, I just kind of start at the bottom of the brow and push it up. And then I'm going to comb it through one more time to see if there's any areas making a little bit more filling. I see in my brows I have some areas here, so I'm going to take a little small flat brush <laughs> and then I'm going to take some of that powder from that palette and I'm just going to dab it up and into my brow. And then just kind of comb it through. And now my brow's complete. I'm going to take a white eye pencil by NYX and a black brush and I'm going to add some of that product right on my bone. Right on the, on the brow bone. And then I take the brush and then just kind of brush it down just to give my eyebrows a little bit more definition. It gives a little bit cleaner look without adding concealer onto my brows. So I'm used to wearing a wing liner, but I don't want to go with cat eyes to the gym. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my gel liner and I'm going to line the upper part of my waterline. So the reason why I do this step, which is an optional step if you do not want to use eyeliner, I want to open up my eyes and get the same effect as if I was wearing a wing liner. For my lashes, I'm going to be using these two mascaras. The bottom is Toothpaste Better Than Sex. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use Rimmel's Lash Accelerator. I know a lot of people tend to use waterproof mascara when they're working out. Um, just a preference. I'm, I'm not really too fond of waterproof mascara, but I've never had any issues where I'm sweaty and my eyes are all black from my mascara or anything. And I really love um, this mascara. I just tried it out. I've been using it for about two weeks now. And like with a couple coats, my lashes look so long. So I just, I'm like in love right now. And then I just take my eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. And then just a couple coats on the bottom. And I'm gonna take my eyebrow gel by Sonia Kashnick. I forgot to add it on earlier bad boys stay down. So instead of using blush, I still want to have a healthy glow while I'm at the gym, but I don't want my cheeks to look super pink. What I use is this bronzer by Elf Cosmetics, and then I'm just going to apply a little bit on my cheek, just to give it a little bit of shine and dimension on my face. And to finish off the look, I'm going to go ahead and take a tinted um, chapstick. It's by Fresh, called Trigger Berry. But what I really like, it's a tinted lip treatment and it does have SPF 15. And I apply a little bit and I just rub it all on my lips. The color is a little bit strong, that's why I'm rubbing it through with my fingers. One tip that I do recommend is that I carry a chapstick with me in my gym bag because as you're working out and you're drinking water and just lifting and sweating, getting in the grind, my lips start to get chapped and I don't want to be licking my lips, so I carry a chapstick and I just kind of keep reapplying just to give moisture to my lips. And that's the finished look. The look is very natural. I pretty much have a sheer coverage on my face because when I'm on the grind, I want to look put together, but I do not want to look like I tried too hard and make my makeup look effortless. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below for any future videos that you guys would like to see. Hope you guys are all doing awesome and I'll see you guys soon.